Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today we will be drawing a tennis racket and a ball. So let's get started. And if you are new to my channel and have been here already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day. And along the way while I draw, I will give you some fun facts about tennis rackets and, uh, and the ball. And also, so we are going to start off with the ball and uh, the racket. It is going to be kind of like an illustration drawing. So it's going to be a quick and easy one for you. So I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy uh, watching this. And I'm going to make the racket red and the handle black as always. And um, I will show you how I colored it as well in a bit. But um, those are the colors that I will be using and I will be using color pencils as well. So to give you some fun facts today, I will be using the website bethq.com and uh, it has uh, 20 interesting facts about tennis rackets. So um, apparently the wooden rackets used until 1965 weighed an average of 350 grams um, and some of them were about half a kilogram as well, so 500 grams as well. But uh, today's ones are around 250. So they are very light compared to the olden day uh, tennis rackets. So you can see now on the drawing, I'm drawing the net area. So you can use a ruler if you want to make it even and make the line straight. I just um, was freehanding it. But however, uh, it'll be it'll look much nicer if you use the ruler uh, for your drawing if you choose to draw this with me. So if you have a request for me to draw for next time, please let me know by commenting below. And also you can connect with me through Facebook, Instagram or Twitter as well. All that information is in the description box below for you if you want to check that out as well and connect with me through those media as well. And to give you some uh, more fun facts, so players who choose lighter rackets pay for this choice with a uh, reduction in power, more vibration and a smaller sweet spot. So there you go. There is a disadvantage as well for a light a racket. And the vast majority of the world's tennis rackets are manufactured in Asia with Japan serving as the hub of international tennis racket production. And the best quality rackets are sold without strings, um, as experienced players prefer to decide what strings should be used with the racket and what tension they should be stung. A lot of thinking and a lot of uh, different processes goes into this game, it looks like. And for several years, many professional players refused to use steel frame rackets, believing that the wooden rackets provided great accuracy and ball control. The wooden rackets was, however, no match for the power of the steel framed rackets. So now that I gave you some uh, fun facts as well, we are going into coloring now. We did the drawing part. So for the ball, you can add that little detail on the tennis ball 
uh, with the sharpie or the pencil whichever you are using or you can do it with your color pencils as well I will be doing it with the color pencils and I'll show you how I did it So you can see I used red for the racket and for the strings you can either use blue color uh, because some strings are transparent so or I used brown just to give it like a nice look and now I'll show you how I added in the line of the tennis ball uh, it's just a curvy line that all tennis balls have um, so you can do that as well So, and for the ball colors, I used a little bit of yellow, green, and yellow. And the line of the tennis ball, I drew it with a blue color pencil. And now I'm just making it prominent um, so it shows better. So, basically, this is all there is to it. It's very easy um, to draw and very easy illustration if you want to draw it as well. And for the handle, I used black and shortly I will show you how the full color drawing looks like as well. So now that I showed you everything, so this is the full color drawing of the tennis racket and the tennis ball. So I hope you like it and if you do, don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave a comment for me. And if you would like to buy products with this on, check out my Redbubble shop link in the description box below for products. And I hope you like those as well. And now I will put some next videos for you to check out next, um, including a playlist. And these are the videos, so you can check those out. And also, uh, don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel. I bring a video every single day to you, an easy drawing idea or a DIY project. Um, so I hope you like those as well and I hope you have a great day today and as always I will see you tomorrow. Bye!